What is going on, YouTube and Facebook? This is Mary Dragoon coming back with another Jank Tank build. And today, I have a crazy build. Now, I've only included four cars on our start screen, but the reality is this build actually requires the entire deck. I mean, the whole deck synergizes to make the build. But these are probably your four most important cars. All right, guys, let's get into the deck tag on this crazy, crazy build. I'm going to call it Kiora endless mill now i actually haven't named it that yet but we're gonna do that so that's gonna be the name of the deck okay so here are the cards so we've got merfolk secret keeper we have drown secrets we've got necromobia we've got Thassa's oracle wall of lost thoughts underworld breach emery lurker of the lock sage's road denison cura nyx lotus dance of the mance i know that's crazy right and we've got two planes seven islands four mountains four hollowed fountains four steam vents, and two lotus field. Now let's talk about the play plan for this deck. So the idea is that we are going to start milling ourselves early in the game. So we want to get stuff in the graveyard very quickly. That's what Morpho Keeper is there for. That is what Drown Keeper is there for. And that is what Wall of Lost Thoughts is there for. The most important card of these three is Drown Secrets because Drown Secrets synergizes with Kiora, who is also a blue spell. When we cast Kiora, we mill two. That's going to be important. So once we get the early mill and we finally hit a Kiora, we're going to put her on the battlefield. And at that point, we're going to be looking for a, a Nyx Lotus or a Lotus Field, whichever comes first. Nyx Lotus is the preferred one of those cards. Now, if we happen to have milled our Nyx Lotus into our graveyard, which is very likely, no big deal. That's what Emery Lurker of the Lock is in here for. She goes back in, pulls that Nyx Lotus out for us so we can play it. Just make sure you have the mana to do both because you need to be able to do both uh, if you're going to do it on one turn. You can drop her and then do it a turn later if you need to. Once Nyx Lotus is on the field, the magic happens. So Nyx Lotus for, uh, is going to give you mana based on devotion. And our devotion is blue in this deck even though we've got white and red in here. So Nyx Lotus is going to be based on blue. And Necromobia comes into play from our graveyard when it gets discarded. So we've been milling, right? So we've probably been putting Necromobias on the field. So when that Nyx Lotus comes out, it's going to be a 3 or 4 or 5, which is perfect. So now we've got Kioria, we've got our Nyx Lotus, and all we're doing is waiting to hit an Underworld Breach. And once that happens, things go absolutely insane. Basically, your opponent will never get another turn. You are going to just mill your entire deck in one turn and win the game. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's go take a look at some gameplay. All right. Kitsune. Kitsune, maybe? I don't know. Here we go, anyway. So, uh, looks like... Yeah, this is going to be a rough hand to play here. <clears throat> I think we can do this. It shouldn't, shouldn't be a big deal. Um, I think we turn one mill ourselves. That's probably the best idea. We gotta get some cards into that graveyard in order to get this deck running. So, I mean, it it looks okay. Ooh, our opponent's looking at our graveyard. What are you looking at, Kitsune? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna call it Kitsune. I think that sounds better. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. We could just go with Kit. How about we just go with Kit? All right, Kit. Keep your hands off my graveyard. <laughs> uh, Yeah, let's, let's put out a blocker here. We could have milled with Merfolk Secret Keeper. But I think, considering he's got a creature on board already, we want to block. Oh, uh, are we going to lose a creature here? It's playing black. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Possible. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, Still waiting. Ooh, they pass us the turn. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna mill ourselves. We've got one white. We don't need that. We'll probably nix. Uh, we'll probably Lotus Field next turn. This is turn four for Kit. We've got Vindictive Vampire. So this is gonna be like a sack deck maybe. They're gonna get us with. Uh, we got another blue mana source. So let's let's go ahead and go with Emery instead of going Lotus Field. Remember in the deck tech I told you that Lotus Field isn't the best option. For uh, using for Kiora, you're really looking for the Nyx Lotus. So, um, 
Okay, so this looks like a vampire tribal deck, I think. Uh, yeah, we go ahead and block here. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, we'll lose that Necromia. Necromobia. <laughs> we'll lose the Necromobia. Um, that's going to give us four mana. We get the Nyx Lotus out now. Because that's really what we're looking for. That is a better option than the Lotus Field. Um, you can see we've got Devotion to two right now. Cure is going to bring that up to three. And we might be ready to start cycling on our library at this point. So we've got 11 cards in the graveyard. It's, yeah, we ought to, we ought to be able to just... We might just take the game next turn, actually. Um, take the damage here. There is our red mana source that we need for Underworld Breach. Um, let's get our Devotion up to three. We need it at least at three. <clears throat> and, yeah. Let's do this. So we're going to Underworld Breach here. We're going to have three mana floating. And we're going to untap that. We're going to need a Drown Secrets on the board to make the loop. And let's try to dump lands. Let's see what we have as far as lands are in here. Not a lot, actually. So, Dance with the Mance we won't need, and Sadro Denison we won't need. Dance with the Mance is in this deck to let us pull Drown Secrets and Underworld Breaches out if we need to. So, that's why that card's in there. I think I missed talking about that in the deck deck. Uh, ooh, Okay. Yeah, we've got this. This is our game. I don't think the opponent's getting another turn here. So, uh, we've got 33 cards to go through. It's going to take a little bit of work here. We're just going to have to be careful with ha what we put down. Uh, yeah, we're going to dump those. Um, we're going to mill for four. We'll go ahead and play Kyori again, just so we don't make a mistake here. And <clears throat> we have our plus one to untap our Lotus Field. Our Lotus Field right now is at a six. It's going to get bigger in just a second. Uh, we'll put that one on the battlefield. The next one that hits, we will keep it in the graveyard, because we do need cards in the graveyard to discard. We're going to go ahead and mill for four more. Actually, it's going to be for eight. Because we have those uh, drown secrets on the board. Yeah, so the so the opponent isn't going to get to go again. This this is our game at this point. So turn five, we're just going to steal the game. Uh, we'll decline. We're going to keep this one in the graveyard because we need it to discard, kind of like a sacrifice. Because you got to remember when you do underworld breach, you have to discard three cards for every card you play. Let's get another drown secrets in. Is there a land that we can dump here? Um. Hmm, no, that's okay. We'll jump the little squidly dudes because we don't need them. Uh, Drown Secret's gonna mill us for four more cards. This is getting crazy, guys. I hope you see where this is going. This deck is ridiculous. Our opponent is probably like, "What is happening? I just want my turn. You're not getting a turn, Kit. It's never gonna happen." So we are up to eight now. We've got twelve cards. I'm sorry, fifteen cards in the library. This is going to put us within within winning zone, I think. We'll be able to play or a fastest Oracle here and win the game. Just a second. Um, yeah, let's see. This Oh, gosh. This is going to mill eight cards out. So. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. Kiora's endless mill, guys. We're down to five. Uh, let's just put it on the battlefield. Why not? Do we want to... Yeah, let's just go win the game. I mean, we could mill out the last cards, but there's really just no reason to. All right, Kit. Good game, my friend. I know you didn't get a turn there for a while, and you were wondering what's going on, but... Uh, you have been endless milled. Cura has endless milled you, my friend. Congratulations. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. Kit is probably like scratching, scratching our head like, what just happened to me? All right, let's jump into another game here. What do we get? Ooh, Scholar of Ages. Okay, cool. 
All right, so... Kel... Elisic? Lasic? Elasic? I want to go with Kel. What's up, Kel? Welcome to your doom. That's right, Kel. Uh, what do I think about this? This, I mean, this hand looks okay. We could probably dump a Nyx Lotus here. Kel, I'm going to kill you by destroying my library. <laughs> uh, Kel. Hello. I think the game just froze on us. Darn it. Oh, okay. They, they just, it, it took them a while to make a decision. So, yeah, let's dump that Nyx Lotus. We don't need it right now. Um, it's going to be a shame to sack our mountain to that lotus field, but, um, it, it'll be okay, I think. If, well, I mean, we might draw into a land, so, who knows? It's going to go down here. Uh, there's a steam vents. So, let's get the necrobia, necromobia on the field now. Ooh, scary. Hell run, my tentacle monsters are coming for you. <laughs> That's what I love about this deck. Like, I just like to think about what my opponent is, is like, thinking. What, like, what is happening with this game right now? Um, I guess, I guess we Lotus Field now. We have the Steam Vents. It's kind of stinky to miss a play on this turn, but is what it is. We'll be able to put a Lotus Field, uh, I'm sorry, a, a Nyx Lotus down next turn should be pretty sweet. I mean, it depends on what we pick up, I guess. Kalasic. Ooh, a mystic. Oh, another dance with the manse. Ugh. We don't need that. It's okay. It gives us something to sack later. Just gonna poke Kel in the eye for one. Heraldic banner. Okay. Interesting. Um, What does that do again? Okay. They called blue. Um, wait, they call blue? Weird. Do we dance with the mans here? <clears throat> I don't think we can do anything here except attack. Our graveyard isn't big enough yet to start dipping it into it. Oh, no! Our squiddly do turn into a frog. Um, yeah. That's not a good... That's two turns we haven't done long. That's not, This is, the game is not looking good. Smothering Tide. Oh, man. Um, this one... We may not win this one, guys. A Wall of Lost Thoughts. That's going to help us. We do need to get those cards into the graveyard. Let's just see what we dump here. Plus, it'll charge our next Lotus, which we need. Uh, what are we going to dump? Two lands, an underworld breach, and a drowned secrets. Um, we can't lotus field. Really can't do anything else. I think we're gonna lose this, guys. <laughs> I think we're gonna lose this one. Omen of the sea. Um, <clears throat> what is our opponent playing? Like, what is their game plan? I have no idea right now. Very weird deck that Kel is playing here. Hmm. Okay, a zombie making bird. Interesting. <laughs> this is uh, Jank versus Jank, I think, right here, guys. Oh, he's making zombies. I think that's the plan. I think the plan is to make zombies. Um, I think we do this and we go and get Drowned Secrets, maybe? Oh, we can get, we can get both. Okay, and Underworld Breach. Okay, we'll do both. That leaves us with two mana. Actually, it'll be three because, um, we got Necromobia. Uh, we'll drop some lands here. 
not not anything super fancy. It does give us a blocker, so it'll stop that issue. And we're going to get a little bit of mail hair out of it, which is where we really need to be. Uh, another dance with the man. It's not going to help here. Uh, we're set up for Kioria if we can get her this turn or next turn in our in our hand. Just going to have to see what happens here. Our opponent's creatures are kind of getting out of hand, and we just don't have a way of controlling it. Alter. Mm, okay. Still kind of confused about what our opponent's doing with their deck. Poking us for one, I guess. Or two, sorry. And making zombies. That seems to be the plan. Oh, yeah! Merfolk Seeker Keeper. That's just what we're looking for. We need to burn that library down. Dump us some cards here. All right, let's get some good hits here with that. <clears throat> We're gonna end up, ooh, Necromobia. There is Kiora. So it's gonna dump six cards. We dump both Thassa's Oracles as well. I think we Lotus Field here. Um, I think. Let me, let me stretch my brain through that. Um. It will tap for a mana of any one color. What is in here? No, let's see. We want to go white and blue so we can play Dance with the Mance, maybe. I think that's what we want to do. Hmm. If we play Dance with the Mance, we can Underworld Breach again. Or I can put the Lotus Field down. Yeah, this feels right. I'm going to do the Lotus Field because it's going to give us three mana of any one color for next turn. So we can get white and we can get red and we can get blue from our Nyx Lotus. So I'm going to take the turn and I know I'm going to take some punishment from our opponent for that. Oh, they locked down our other Necromobia. But I'm okay with that because I think it sets us up in a better position next turn. Divine Visitation. So the plan here for our opponent, I think, is to turn those zombie tokens into 4-4 four, four flying angels. So from angels to zombies. Sweet deck, Kel. I like the idea. I do like the idea. So we're going to be forced here to sacrifice one of our Necromobias next turn. So we're not going to block with it. We'll just sack it on our next turn. Goodbye, squidly do. Um, we're not gonna pay that, and Kioria, I think this closes the game right here. I think this is it. Yeah, that's four blue mana. That's game. So, <clears throat> basically at this point, we're just gonna go infinite. So we're gonna mill out ourselves. If I, if, if my brain is, if my brain is right, <laughs> I think so. So this is five blue mana. We have one floating. Uh, we'll make red and we'll make white we'll play dance with the mance here we'll get underworld breach and some other things we're gonna play two underworld breach and drown secrets that's what we're gonna hit we're gonna mill for two and we're just gonna go infinite here with this mill so here it goes so this is what dance with the mance is in the deck uh the deck four so now we're just gonna um tap our nyx our nyx bloom uh, our Nyx Lotus or Blue. We're going to play Kioria. We're going to dump some lands. Always dump lands when you're doing this deck and then go from there once you run out. And we're going to do this with her now just so we don't forget because if we forget, we are going to break our cycle. We don't want to do that until we've milled our deck down. So Kioria comes out. We're going to select the new one to keep. And we're going to save her plus one for when we run out of mana sources here. So let's do Merfolk Seeker Keepers. And we're going to mill with those. That's always our first choice when we're uh, doing this loop. We want to burn through all of our Merfolk Seeker Keepers first. And then go to our Wall of Lost Thoughts or our Drowned Secrets is next. I guess it really depends on the board state. But in a board state like this, that's the plan. We're going we're gonna to do, do them in that order. <clears throat> So this is going to knock out a bunch more cards. We're going to knock out eight cards, 26. Bring us down into the teens here. Um, we, let's see, yeah, we're at 16. 
Let's play Wall of Lost Thoughts, because I think we're out of Merfolk Secret Keepers. Dump the lands again. This is going to mill for another eight cards, so it's going to bring us below ten. And our devotion is six at the moment, but it's getting ready to go up to seven. There's another Merfolk Seeker Keeper. We'll put the Necromobia on the field just to do it. We could have kept that in the graveyard and just sacked it, but it's okay. Um, we're going to do eight more cards here. And that's going to bring us... There's another Merfolk Seeker Keeper. Woohoo! Uh, it's going to put us at eight. So our devotion is eight. We play Thassa's Oracle and win the game here. And there it is. Kioria's Endless mill guys it's ridiculous this deck is ridiculous oh my gosh my opponent is like what what how did you come out of nowhere like it's like the comeback king that's what this deck is it's the comeback king of decks it's so hilarious all right kel good game my friend good game it was lots of fun i eh, will just put that on top <laughs> oh my goodness what an awesome match what an awesome hey guys, Mary Dragoon, I want to thank you for watching my video, and I want to remind you to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and remember to hit that little bell icon so you will get a notification when my next video goes live, so you don't miss any of the awesome videos I make, like the two videos right here. Alright guys, until next time, happy adventuring, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye!